Hello everybody, welcome back to Trailmakers, where today, as you can see, I'm driving a bit of a new bit of a new thing here. That's because, using the pistons from last episode, I made a safety extractor. So this is how I can pick up things that are explosive and bring them back here easily. Oh, I already tested this out on that uh, straight, su uh, yeah, straight suspension that was over there, so it works great. But also, off camera, I will admit, I did look at a wiki for a second because I know how much we need the diving bell. And now I know where it is, so I'm gonna go and pick it up. Because the diving bell is how we're gonna get a lot of that, actually all of that underwater stuff. Let me get out of the water here. Because it'd also be an upgrade for this, so that I can actually go underwater. So, for anyone who's curious, beacon. Thank you. Alright. It is actually over here on this one island that I didn't actually go and explore. Oh. It's just shimmy off into the lake here. Alright, well. Let's go speedster here. And then boat. Also, I found out that you become a physics anomaly if you end up stacking more than four pistons on top of each other. But if you do that, suddenly a singularity collapses around you. Very unpleasant. I'm gonna swap to Amphibious here. Huh? Oh. I'm stopped. Let me use Amphibious. There we go. Amphibious Jones. Let's grab this thing. Why is it back to normal Amphibious? Why didn't the fresh heck? I built a special amphibious for a reason. You. To three. Thank you. Alright. So now I press B. And go to three. There we go. Alright. So that right there should be the diving bell. The problem is getting it. Never mind. Not an issue. Alright. So this is going to let us get underwater in any circumstance, which is going to be awesome. Because this is basically just free underwater travel, just in general. So let's go ahead and get this thing over to this little machine doohickey. Can't remember the name. But we're also going to need those uh, buoyancy control devices as well. Going ahead and drag this diving bell over to here. And then we can go on ahead and get started on making a submarine for this episode. Now there is more things that also need to be done. Like I found a very, very important block that we're gonna need. Not so later on, actually. The hover block. Now that's going to be used for making just general travel machines as well as lava travel machines. This was just a power core, but it's still important, so I'm taking it. Alright. So, in all honesty, we are desperately going to be needing those hover wheels, or those hover blocks. Because they just use, like, a propeller, I think, is all that they really need. And that should be necessary for the yeah the this ship. Power core is required for your I can't space believe we're already almost forty percent of the way done with the ship. I mean, we're going to be getting to those DLCs pretty soon at this rate. All right, so what is that up there? I can't remember. Uh, but yeah, I think we just need some forward momentum for the hover wheels, which should be easy if we attach them to something like the speedster should just kind of let it zip off into the nothingness. But first we need to get the hover block. This is the point to control device, though. Which is another something that we needed. As physics decides to give up on me. <laughs> Alright, so these kind of act like the buoys, except you can control just how far up or down you want to be in the water. Which is very handy. I'm just saying. 
They're like little float bladders, which are definitely, definitely needed. Because that's how we're going to be getting probably quite a few things from the bottom of the ocean. Alrighty, so let's go on ahead and get this over to here. And then we should be good to go. So this should be good for underwater travel. That should be all for that. Yep, the sub. Alright. That didn't automatically put it into my thing, right? Yeah, alright, good. So, next stop is the volcano, because I went and did a little bit of progression just off camera to unlock one of the... There, the recovery drone there. So, right there is our hover block. Problem is getting it around there. So, I'm gonna pull up my really, really janky machine. Oh my god! <laughs> I don't think it liked being summoned like that. What the hell? What the hell was that? Did it just decide it didn't want to exist? There you go. My goodness. This is how it's supposed to be. Let me go on ahead and extend out the everything so that way it decides to not have a hissy fit. Okay. So now that we have done that, let's, uh... Let's head towards the hover block where I will try to nab it with this. Try to carefully bring it back. Because that is everything with this thing, is careful grabbing and pulling it back. Because this thing is very, very heavy. Actually, how heavy was it? I don't remember the exact weight. All I know is that we're going to need to tightrope this thing. Yeah, we're so going to need to tightrope this thing. <laughs> okay. So once we pick it up, I'll go ahead and show you guys how this thing works. Alrighty, so. We're almost at the hover block, which is awesome. From here, it's basically a straight shot to the hover block. Problem now is picking it up and moving it. Because this thing is heavy. Stop! Okay. Now we're here. We are here. Which means... It's time to activate... The craft. Alright, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Alright. Pull it back in. No. Hover block's too far to the side. Damn. Alright. In. And I can't pull it all the way in. Damn. Okay, so we're just gonna have to kind of sit with this for now. But, at least it brings it off the ground. Which lets me do a little bit of shenanigans with this. Now, please do not freak out. Because <laughs> if this thing freaks out, I am screwed. If it does another physics anomaly like last time, <laughs> I am going right into the lava. Alright, so I need to be very, very slow and cautious with this thing. Because we need this hover block. We need it desperately. So I need physics to be on my side here. Please, game. Alright. Already most of the way back. Alrighty. So far, so good. <sighs> Alright, so now we're out of the woods, I want to say, before I jinx it. <laughs> So we need to carefully take a turn here. Alright, come on. You know you want to come with me, hover block. No, no, stop it, stop it. Stop, 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 stop. Okay. Physics is not liking me again. Nope, no. Back, go. Okay. Pulling back as hard as I can, because I need this to not go flying. And 
Good. One. I think that's it. Hover block. You are my friendo. Ha! -ha! Yes. I knew this thing would work. Ha! -ha! Alrighty, and with that claimed, that unlocks a whole new list of things that we can make. Especially as soon as we get a propeller. A propeller is definitely going to be helpful. But I can't recall where to get a propeller, so it's basically a non-issue at the minute. So, let's go ahead and swap the speedster here. Stop so we can get a... Yep. Alright, so now... What the... Ow. <laughs> I think that out there is a propeller, but I'm not sure. Let's... I can get over there one way, just to see. Where are you? Nope, I'm dead. <laughs> that did not go very far. Alright, well... I guess... Let's, uh, let's work on making a submarine real quick. So let's go to... No, not here. I want to go to this over here, because this right here is a good spot to just build. Actually, I could maybe grab that with the... with the super grabber. No, 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 what the hell is going on? Where did it go? Okay, forward, forward, up, up, up. I set these to not be at zero solely because of that. But oh my god. Okay. Now, to see if this will work on our good friend, Cannon. Tank Cannon, will you be coming with me? Tank Cannon. Tank Cannon, you're coming with me. Alright, well. Surprised that the physics anomaly causing Tank Cannon isn't giving me a physics anomaly. Never mind. It 100% is giving me physics issues here. Or maybe I should have just tried to back up with it instead of trying to carry it. Actually, it this thing's moving fine. <laughs> Hold the phone! Okay, well. That worked way better than expected. Alright. There you go, buddy. And now I can pull this back, and this back, and we're good. Alright, well. Already making extreme progress today. So let's swap over to... Actually, we're going to need a new build, so... I'm going to remove all of you. I'm not going to make the sub. I'm going to make my own thing. So these... Fire... High explosive projectiles. Why are they high? Anywho... Alright, so... For this, we're going to use some blocks here. And some blocks here. Because we need to make not only a good spot for those, uh, what we call for the buoyancy devices, but also we need thrusters. So the buoyancy devices should be down here in balance. Yeah. All right. And then we got suspension and wheels. All right. Now this, this I'm looking forward to using. Alright, so, let's go ahead and slide some of these in here, and down, nope, wrong thing, did not mean to grab that, alright, slot that there, and get these set in right here, come on, alright, there you go, and then here, and then here. Alright, so, this is a good base for everything here, so we're going to need a tractor beam for sure. I'm going to try to put a tractor beam, there's a tractor beam, right? 
No, that's a light. I'm an idiot. Tractor beam. There we go. So the tractor beam... I'm going to try to face it downwards. So we can get things off the bottom. And then... I'm going to try to get the underwater propulsions. I just realized I'm going to need some steering propulsion, too. So I'm going to need... Where is it? There. Large hinges. Rotate them in this way. Alright. So that is going to be... Basically all for steering right there. And if I copy those to here... That's green backwards and green frontwards. That is right, right? Let me... Yeah, that's right. Alright, cool. So now, with that at hand, we shall go ahead and paste some propulsion to them. There we go. And... There we go. I pasted that one too far forward. There we go. Alright. And then the rest of them will just be facing the forward. So we're going to need quite a few to actually get this thing moving. So that would be... I feel like that should be good. Go ahead and... mm. Yeah, that, that should do good. That should do good things. Okay, so let's scoot both of these back. Alright, cool. So now, going ahead and copy them over to this side. Nice. So now that's seven. And now, if I wanted to, I could make it multi-terrain. But right now, I'm going to worry about actually being able to use it, so... Buoyancy devices... Buoyancy device... I need to rotate you to have those there. And then do the same over here. Alrighty. And then those two can get copied backwards. Alright. You know, having another cube back here probably wouldn't hurt. Alright. And then, last but not least, so that way we can actually use this, is to do all that and copy them up here. Alright. And we still have at least a few propulsion options. So I could add a few more inside here just to be safe ahead and paste some there, and then over here, go ahead and do that, and then I could put a couple in front as well, yeah, let's do that, just to make sure that we have maximum underwater power, alright, and then this I shall save as a... Sub one. <laughs> now this will be tested in a moment because I will put it instead of the amphib tractor. So go ahead and put that at three. So let's go ahead and pop out of build mode. And hop over to our speedster here. And to remember to just go over this way. So over here there's a big reef of stuff. So going ahead and just hop in. Three. Alright. So far, so good. Ow. <laughs> okay. So maybe it's a little bit front-heavy. Now let's, let's just go ahead and give it the zero buoyancy here. Alright, it kind of works, I guess. It's a little front overpowered. So, I'm <laughs> just dragging across the floor here. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this may be an issue. Yes, I know I'm upside down. Thank you. Alright, yep. Okay, so. 
I should probably sort these into back and front. Let me... Alright, so these over here can get the X... Oh no, this one was X and this one was Z. And these ones can keep with that. So, hop out of build mode. So, bottom out that one. And slightly bottom out that one. I don't know how to actually balance this thing. Alright. Nope. Come on. <laughs> I need to get this right. I don't feel like making another underwater car again. I, th I think I have to make another underwater car because I can't control this. Hold on. Nope. <laughs> Straight down to the ocean blue. Alright. Well, I guess we should probably go looking for, uh... For some whatchamacallit. For some, uh, propellers. Alright, there we go. Yeah, the seeds emerged. Emerged, sorry. Okay, well, that didn't go as planned. Uh, let's just go on ahead and get the speedster. Actually, it'd probably be best to do with the big, the big truck. Let me get over here to the side. Not again. Not again. Not again. Oh, I still need the Amphib. Where are you, Amphib? There. I need you at three, please. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, how much I needed the Amphib there. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Now let, let's amp up the Amphib a little bit. I feel like it needs a little bit more power. Just a little bit. Alright. That's not too far back for the thrusters, right? Let's just go ahead and scooch that one to the side a little bit. So this should be good, right? Right, this should be good? Okay, yep. Thumbs up water, it is actually pretty decent. So, I mean, in the water, it's okay. I'm gonna need some bigger pontoons. But, I mean, it, it works, it works. So, let me go on ahead and save this. Well, I'll remove one of these. And, you know what? Uh, nah, I'm not gonna mess with that right now. I'm just gonna save it as it is. It's Amphib Tractor. Did you not see it? Eh, fine. Amphib Tractor. Let's just call it 2 for now. Alright, Amphib Tractor 2. Where'd you go? There you go. And 3. That should fix it. Alright. So now, let's get out of build mode. And... I guess deal with trying to find a propeller now. So, I mean, there's a paddle there. There's unknown salvage underneath the water. Ship wheel, unknown salvage. Let me get rid of that. So, I mean, I might be able to get the salvage that's over there if I make an underwater car. Which I can do. Let's go ahead and build mode this thing right into existence. So, first things first, dive bell. We're gonna need that. Then, we're gonna need some usual car supplies. Let's go ahead and rotate that to there. And then copy it this way. And then grab both. And copy them both back. And front. And then... Nope. That's not what I wanted. There you go. Copy them this way. This needs to be basically a truck. Which means we're going to need suspension. 
we're, we're gonna need the underwater steering as well as you know, overwater steering. So this is the basic body here. Let's go ahead and copy the whole thing down. Come on. So if I do this, should basically make it. Yeah. So we've got a little slot of empty space down there. Which should mean that I can just slot one of those in and one of those in. So now we've got the base of the truck. Now we're going to need some hinges to steer. I know we're not going to want all wheel steering here. There we go. That there, that there. And we're going to add monster truck wheels to make sure that it gets down to the bottom safely. Then, what we need to do is do the... Actually, we're going to need to slot in some, uh, some power here. So let's delete that and do all this here. Copy it backwards and add in the wheels. That should be good. And that one there. Alright. Then we go on ahead and I'm not going to care about water propulsion at the minute. Because this is meant to be an underwater car. This one isn't meant to be a boat. So, if we go ahead and copy all of that power backwards. And we still got a little bit of space left, actually. But right now, this is going to be about as powerful as it needs to be. So right now, we're going to go ahead and cap that off. If I actually remembered how to do this. So let's do that. And then copy that one there. To the side there. Alright, then we go ahead and just slap down a bunch of these to cover up the batteries. So I'm not sure if they are waterproof or not. So, then we go ahead and add in the gadget for the tractor beam. And... Probably a few headlamps wouldn't hurt. Alright, especially since we're going underwater, it really wouldn't hurt. So, lastly, we need some of those, you know, the buoyancy control devices, which we're going to put on the back for now, just because, I mean, may, may as well, because these ones are just to get us in and out of the water. And then, of course, I'm going to add emergency propellers, just in case we end up getting trapped out in the middle of the water. So that should get us out of the water if we need to. Alright, that looks like a done boat. So now we save it as water truck one. <laughs> Creative, I know. But, so now if I go on ahead and release all that, so I get that, yeah, alright. So now, if I get into the water here, we should be good to get down wherever we need to. It'll be a bit slow, yes. I mean, I could just float up to the surface and... Okay, never mind, I can't float up to the surface and use that. Because <laughs> these wheels are unfortunately very big and powerful. I just realized that that wheel's being big and powerful is going to be an issue with where we've got a buoyancy devices. So let me scooch these to the front. Right. Nope. Alright. I may have to remove our little headlamps or move them to the front here. Okay, no, never mind. I thought I could just kind of move them to the front, but nope. Alright, so let's you know what? Let's add them to the front of this. They'd help us aim. Alright. Like that. And there. Alright. <laughs> Got a little face now. So, let's go ahead and save that. And now, we're still a little front heavy. But I could just do backing up out of the water instead. So, let's get down there. So, 
as of right now, there's quite a few things on the ocean floor because we haven't been there yet. And this being as heavy as it is, it's probably going to get down there pretty easily. I just realized that, that thing's floating over there. Hmm. Well. Alright, I already see one on the radar. Where is it, though? Is it one on... Oh, it's over there. Okay. Well. Down we go into the deep ocean blue. Alright. If I could only steer. <laughs> right now it's just kind of falling with style. Alright. There we go. So. Things down here that are nearby. Let me go ahead and check my... There's one above. There's one above, all above. Okay, there's one that's still somehow below me. And there's one that's still also somehow below me over there. So, let's start heading that way. So, as of right now, this one right here is what we have still beneath us. I mean, if push comes to shove, I could always just jump, basically. But I'm saving that for when it comes to that. Because we're going to need to grab and go. A lot of fish here. Alrighty, so this is really slow. Really slow, actually. It probably would have been better to add at least a couple more uh, thrusters for underwater propulsion. You know what? Can I still do that? I can just kind of remove that and remove, remove to add a couple more of those. Paste that there, and then grab, grab, down. Alright, that should work. Hopefully. Alright. So now, get out of build mode, and we release. Okay, it's moving slightly faster now, I think. Either way, we're almost there, I think. Because whatever it is, we're going to need to grab it, and then we're going to need to get up out of the ocean here. Alright, so where are you? Whatever salvage is down here. I need to get better at my underwater driving. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't have my underwater driving license. Okay, there it is. What are you? Beach ball dispenser. Uh, fine, I'll take it. So now that I am super front heavy on this machine, I should now be able to look at all this, inflate these, and let my back rise, and let's go! <laughs> It, it works, mostly. Alrighty, well, I think that's where we need to go for the other one. So, I'm probably going to work on trying to find where the propellers are off camera. So I need to find where to actually get out of the water for this thing. So I don't think we have anything nearby. Well, actually... We've got the island over there. There's also, uh... That one over there. Because I probably could drop back down onto the ocean floor now. Alright, so let's... Lower our buoyancy a little bit. I need to realize... Where I am. Okay. Where am I? Yes, I know I'm upside down. Shush. Alright, so I need to get back to a ledge. So I can actually continue driving this thing. Or just kind of back it up into a... Back it up into an island here. I could do that. Or not. Okay. We are steadily losing all control. 
I need to keep control of this thing. Alrighty. I'm not sure how we're really doing this, but hey. Alright, so I'm gonna try to get to Magnet Island. Where am I right now? I'm still above the crevice. So. Nope. Oh, God, this looks so stupid. No, we're steadily going in the opposite direction. Alright, uh, I need to turn. Turn. Come on, turn. <laughs> I'll eventually get to an island some point or another. Actually, we could probably get back to the starting island. If I could just get over there to that ledge. Stop trying to push me over to the side, the game. Uh, no! Damn it. Come on, go. I don't need this thing, but now it's become a challenge. Right, come on. I know I'm upside down. I'm not going to be for long. Don't worry. Alright. Now, I probably should worry about having buoyancy devices on the bottom of my car, too. That, that just occurred to me. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to swap out some of these here for buoyancy. Alright, so. Let's grab the gadgets. Nope, it was... No, it was balance. Alright. So then in here... Go ahead and slam bam that in there. That is... Kind of where I want it. Let me... Oh, wait, there's nothing in there now. Okay. Alright, so that should still make it so the wheels are able to move. Copy those down by one too many. And then... Okay, so half of those aren't doing so good. Okay. That's because the thing was further in. Uh, which means these ones are going to be off-center a little bit. But that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. So now, if I undo that, we actually kind of drop, which is great. I should probably have up and down thrusters instead of just front and back. Okay, well, we made it to the bottom of the ocean. You mean there's not enough space? Come on. Rotate me. <laughs> Alright, fine. I'll do myself. There we go. Stop. Jeez. Okay, we'll we'll come back to this, I think. Unless I grab this here. Come on. Stop it. Exhale those. Thank you. Alright. Beach ball launcher. Come with me. So I need to get to an edge. Am I caught on the on the shipwreck here? Oh come on! Oh. Just great, really? Uh, <laughs> Damn it. Why did I go through it? Uh, you know what? I, I might just say screw the launcher here for a minute until we get a better submarine car. Yeah, I'm gonna say screw it until we get a better submarine car. This is so dumb. Does this at least work on the surface now? Uh, you know what? I'm I'm just going back here to the drone site. So, does this work as a boat now? As an amphibious vehicle? Kind of. I mean, yeah, it does. It, it works. The problem now is actually the amphibious part. I may just have to make the small wheels instead of the big tractor treads. 
<sighs> well, I'm going to work with the uh, hover stuff and trying to figure out where some propellers are off camera. But uh, yeah, that'll end this episode here. I hope you all have enjoyed this episode of Trailmakers. Hope to see you all in the next one. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>